Saint was chosen because the twin fin was the first board that would ship internationally to every territory in the board war. Saint is probably Tana Country's most iconic board, not only design-wise, but because of the airbrush that came with the board. Potts kind of made that famous. Mark Townsend actually designed the airbrush for that board, and now Gavin taking over and keeping that design element going. The Saint board was airbrushed from my friend Mark Townsend. He originated that design. He had liked that stick figure from the Saint, the movie that was made by Roger Moore. I guess that was his hero at the time. Why I like the design so much, it reminds me of a comic book, and I think originally that's what Mark had in mind. Those comic book zap, boom, bow explosions that came from a comic book in the Batman series. And I think that's basically what he was trying to get when he created that. The Saint appeared in all the magazines and it was actually on a poster of the Stubbies. And I think it was the most recognizable board that people remember us by. The same board that we actually make now is my take on a retro board that we used to make back in the 80s. The design came from one of my trips. My manager went to Australia and got a custom Mark Richards board. From that board, we make versions of it. And that's, that's how it started. Back in the 80s, we saw the whole evolution of boards because we started off with the single fins and went to the twin fins. From there, it went to thrusters. And from there, it even went to the quad fins, all in a matter of a decade, you know, so which pretty fast for evolution of boards during that time. My favorite surfers were Dane and Larry. And I remember the first version we made for Dane. We both went surfing at Ala Moana, and he was having so much fun on this new design that he wouldn't even give me a chance to try his board. <laughs> when I finally made a twin fin for myself, I realized that all of a sudden, I was able to do top turns like Dane did on his single fin. Pretty much all of our team guys were riding the twin fins, you know, when they came out. That was all the rage that everyone was getting on. The twin fin just allowed you to get that much more radical as far as turning as compared to what the single fin was. So much more freedom to do whatever you wanted to do on the wave. I remember a trip to Japan and we were watching Martin Potter from a distance going so much faster than everybody else. And we knew that the changing of the guard was coming because of this twin fin design. I think Gold Leaf on the board came up when we were actually talking about the boards we are gonna do, and I think Adam mentioned something about Gold Leaf and kind of put an idea in my head, you know, oh yeah, maybe we should try and do a board with Gold Leaf because gold actually does represent 50 years. So that matched up well with the Saint board. That's the thing about Glenn and Ryan about Tony Country, they are always raising the bar. So Glenn has this idea of doing these gold leaf, something we haven't ever done yet. I'm looking forward to trying it. Again, it's just moving forward and constant creation for those guys. So we're gonna incorporate that with the 50 year anniversary board. If we can pull it off, it's gonna be amazing. Pretty much anyone can ride that board. It's a fun board to ride. It has a flat rocker with some V off the tail. I think everyone's more open to trying different type of boards. Seeing this old board design come back, I feel that a lot of surfers were on thrusters that were a little hard to turn. And in little waves, I think a lot of the new market guys want this loose, fast board design. Pretty amazing that Town & Country is celebrating their 50th year in business. For any company to last that long doing what they love to do is pretty awesome, I think. When I think of Town & Country, I think of deep, rich history that Town & Country has in the surfing community here in Hawaii. Celebrating 50 years is a testament for all the people that worked for me all these years that went by like a flash. I never envisioned being big. Being big, came when other people or companies came to be a part of me or like licensees from a different territory want to be part of us. I was surprised, but I guess people wanted to join me, you know, whatever I did successfully. With a little luck and sometimes hard work, anything is possible. Mm -hmm.